Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, Combining 1D and 3D Multi-Physics Modeling Methods for Thermal Runaway Propagation Analysis. I'm Amanda Hosey, your moderator for this 60-minute program, which focuses on how to build a predictive model for thermal runaway propagation. Our speakers today are Brad Holcomb and Dr. Ali Reza Kondori of Gamma Technologies. Brad Holcomb is a principal application engineer for the company's thermal fluid systems team, where he specializes in component cooling applications and manages development of the GT Suite GEM 3D application. Brad holds a master's degree in mechanical engineering from Purdue University. Dr. Ali Reza Kondori is a senior application engineer on the electrical systems team at Gamma Technologies. He is an accomplished researcher with a focus on the development, characterization, and testing of advanced materials for electrochemical energy storage systems. Ali Reza holds a PhD in chemical engineering from the Illinois Institute of Technology. If you have questions for our speakers, please send them through the Ask a Question box, and we'll address as many as possible at the end of the program. Now, on to the presentation. Welcome, Ali Reza and Brad. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Amanda, for the kind introduction. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here with all of you today. Again, my name is Ali Reza Kondori, and I'm a senior application engineer at Gamma Technologies. Before anything, I would like to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us in this webinar that is focused on uh, combining 1D and 3D multiphysics modeling to study thermal runaway propagation in a simulation environment. Okay, so diving into the agenda for today's webinar, we have a straightforward plan that will guide us through our topic. We'll start with an overview of the thermal runaway propagation to provide basic understanding of this critical phenomenon. I guess while many of us may already be familiar with the topic, the introduction will set the stage for our subsequent uh, discussions. Next, I'll take a moment to introduce Gamma Technologies and provide an overview of our uh, battery simulation capabilities with GT Auto IN. Uh, this will give you a clear understanding of uh, who we are and how our expertise can contribute to solving complex challenges in the field of battery engineering. We will also delve into various modeling techniques used in the industry to study thermal runaway propagation, you know, to explore common approaches and methodologies that have been proven effective to, in understanding this phenomenon. By the end of this part, uh, the hope is that you will have a solid grasp uh, of the existing modeling landscape. And after this, we will go over uh, the unique modeling approach that we have been diligently working on at GT. Uh, we will discuss the rationale behind this approach and its potential uh, for both cell level and module level analysis. And lastly, we will bring uh, everything together and summarize the key points that we have covered. We will also provide a glimpse into the future possibilities and potential advancements in the field. And I honestly encourage everyone to actively engage with our content and um, ask all those great questions that you might have. So without further ado, let's get started with thermal runaway propagation. Well, I guess we are all aware of uh, the move toward a sustainable future through electrified transportation, such as using electric vehicles. What is important here is that with all the benefits they have, there is a key challenge, uh, and that's to ensure the battery packs used for these applications are safe and reliable. So within this context, thermal runaway is a critical topic. Basically, uh, thermal runaway refers to a situation where a battery cell heats up uncontrollably and rapidly, which potentially leads to severe consequences. Uh, there are many uh, reasons behind it. Uh, it can happen because of overcharging, uh, overheating, nail penetration, internal short, or even impact and crushing. So when designing a pack, uh, we must inevitably assume that we will have a cell that enters thermal runaway. So because, you know, sometimes there's just reasons that you can't have any control over it. And eventually, the odds are that you will have some cells in the field entering thermal runaway. So we want to make sure that if a cell enters thermal runaway, it won't cause a chain reaction and heat up uh, the neighboring cells to a runaway temperature and, really, and that at the end it will le lead to a larger fire or even an explosion. So, or if that's going to happen, how much time do we have in order to kind of warn the passengers of the vehicle? So when it comes to starting thermal runaway in batteries, here one thing that is really important to emphasize is that 
uh, this can be done experimentally. And you know, experimentally is probably the most ideal way of studying this and testing it. However, it can be extremely expensive, uh, time consuming and impractical. So we're talking about building a prototype battery pack and intentionally destroying it and doing that hundreds of times, with, you know, each and every cell, what happens if this cell enters thermal runaway? What happens if the other cell enters thermal runaway? So the cost and resource limitations make it nearly impossible to conduct such experiments, especially when considering the vast number of cells in a battery pack. So that's where the simulation techniques uh, come into play as invaluable tools. By employing advanced simulation software and modeling techniques, uh, we can create virtual representation of battery systems and simulate thermal runaway scenarios. The simulations will uh, allow us to observe and analyze the behavior of individual cells uh, and then overall system in a controlled and cost-effective environment and to gain insight into the thermal runaway propagation event itself and evaluate different design parameters and develop strategies to mitigate its risk without the need for extensive and costly experimental setup. Uh, moving forward, I'll talk, I'll talk through uh, a couple of current methodologies to model thermal runaway propagation, and I'll talk through some of the extremes of, you know, uh, either too slow and very detailed uh, or not physical enough, but often too fast. So before getting our hands dirty, um, uh, let me go over a real quick introduction about YAML technologies and the work we do here. So we are an innovative company in the field of system simulations since 1994. So quite a history here. We are spread across the globe and our headquarters is based in Chicago, Illinois. Our product, GT Suite, is a multi-physics simulation platform. And today with more than 200 employees, we are leading the way for system modeling with customer-centric development and support initiatives, uh, which is evident by many customer success stories on our webpage. So, I encourage you to uh, uh, feel free and check it out when you get a chance on our webpage. Next, uh, I would like to introduce you our battery modeling tool, which is named GT Auto Lion. So, uh, GT Auto Lion is a widely used and powerful tool that is designed to provide realistic and physics based battery models well before the batteries are available to test. So, using this tool, we can perform in depth evaluations and optimizations of the cell performance, uh, degradation, and safety for various lithium ion battery chemistries and designs at cell level, module level, and finally system level. So, having said that, uh, let's get back to uh, modeling. Uh, when it comes to the uh, modeling thermal runaway propagation, several key components are required to accurately simulate and understand the phenomenon. So first of all, to effectively model this, uh, a comprehensive battery model is needed uh, for the pre-thermal runaway event. Uh, this is to understand the behavior of the battery before the thermal runaway occurs. Sometimes we might be interested in a heat generation before a thermal runaway event, or maybe even the voltage prediction before the runaway event happens. Essentially, this is to understand how the battery was performing and allow to for more uh, accurate simulations. Then, of course, in order to study thermal runaway, uh, we need uh, to sort of uh, trigger the process in the cell. And here, various triggering mechanisms uh, can be employed, uh, such as negative penetration, external heating, or even assuming some sort of internal short that will occur in the cell. So these triggers are used to simulate uh, real-world scenarios and enable, in the, uh, enable the investigation of the thermal runaway behavior under different circumstances. But once the thermal runaway is triggered in a cell, what we will need is a built-in thermal runaway model uh, to capture the complex phenomena occurring in this uh, like process, such as chemical reactions, heat generation, and gas production. Basically, accurate models uh, allow for a deeper understanding of the progression and the severity of the runaway event. And then at the end, uh, we, will also have, uh, we will also need a heat transfer model where we are going to look at the heat from that trigger cell and how it dissipates to neighboring cells. And then once those neighboring cells reach a certain temperature, they will also have their built-in thermal runaway model. So sort of by understanding the heat transfer dynamics here, we can assess the impact of thermal runaway on adjacent cells and predict their response. Uh, so the key takeaway from this slide is that accurately modeling the thermal runaway propagation requires the integration of multiple physical domains, combining thermal, electrical, and chemical aspects into a multi-physics framework to ensure